a quick video this time just to remind you how to use the calculator to do questions where you have to draw a graph. Now in this case, in the foundation papers, it's just going to be a linear uh, equation, but you could have, uh, if it was the higher paper, you'd have quadratics, cubic, it doesn't matter. If it says draw the graph, you can use your calculator to uh, help you out. Uh, so what you want to do is uh, get your calculator onto the table mode, uh, which on this calculator is option 9. Uh, and you see it says f of x, that is instead of the y equal. So imagine that y is uh, the f of x, then you equals, and then just type in as it says 3. Now on this calculator I have an x button minus 4. If you don't have an x button, then you can use this red x here. You just press alpha, and then the bracket, and you get an x. Just type it in so it looks exactly like it does on the question, which it does. Press equals. Now on this calculator, you can do two at once, but I don't need to do a second one, so I'll just get rid of that by pressing equals. And it allows you a start, an end, and a step. Well, that's given in the question where it says the x values from minus 2 to 3. If by some bizarre turn of fate they don't tell you that in the question, just look at the uh, graph. You can see the smallest x uh, value on the graph is minus 2 and the largest one is 3. So you can get it from the graph if for some reason they don't tell you that, but they almost certainly will. So start, we're going to change that to minus 2 equals. Uh, the end is going to be for 3 equals. And the step, well we can leave the step as 1 uh, because it goes from 1 to 2 to 3, it goes up in steps of 1. If your graph went minus 2 and then uh, minus 1.5, minus 1, minus 0 0.5, naught, and that was it. Then obviously you want to do steps of 0 0.5 because they've sort of given it you more stretched out and they're, you know, they're looking for the 0 0.5s. Uh, finally, we just press the equals button and here we go. You just get a table. So you're going to plot minus 2, you're going to plot minus 10, minus 1, minus 7, at 0, minus 4, at 1 is uh, minus 1, and you can just plot these as coordinates. Uh, now actually because just it won't fit on the screen, I can't plot the first two there down off the screen. Uh, but then naught is minus four. So I'll put that one. And one is minus one. And if I press the down arrow, we'll get to the lower ones. We get two is two and three is five. Two is two and three is five. You should uh, recognize the shape. So if it just is x's and there's no squares, it should be a straight line. It looks like a straight line, so there's a good chance that all is well. I mean, you're unlikely to, unless you type it in wrong, uh, the calculator's not going to make a mistake. This is a much better way of doing it than substituting each value because it is really easy to make a mistake substituting in the negative uh, values of x, especially if you have got a quadratic or a cubic. Whereas the calculator won't make a mistake. As long as you type it incorrectly, exactly as it says, it did have squares and divides, just make it look exactly the same. Start and finish, and then uh, and then just plot the coordinates. And of course, you've got to join them up uh, with a straight line, uh, which I won't be able to do like this. Obviously, you use a ruler, and you'd, uh, you do have to finish off the graph by connecting it up with a line. So make sure you've got a calculator for the exam that has that function. Make sure you know how your calculator works because they're all slightly different and best of luck on this question for half an hour.